so I got the new fuel pump, so we're gonna replace it. So the fuel gauge randomly just goes to empty. Sometimes it'll read uh, read full, and then it'll randomly just go to empty, and the fuel light will come on. So we are going to pull the bed and replace the pump and see if that fixes the problem. It should just, I mean, normally it's just that float sensor. And I'll show you right here in a second so we get this out. Um, this little sensor right here on the side, normally it's just that thing's worn out, so it just read, it won't read right. So, um, we'll get this, uh, this all undone, put together, get the bed taken out, get the old fuel pump out, get this put in, and hopefully that will fix our problem we're having. If not, we'll go from there. Okay, so, to be able to do, to get the bed off, you got... There's a bolt right there, a bolt right there. Same thing on the other side, there's a bolt right here, a bolt right there. Um, you gotta unplug the wiring right here. Um, all this wiring needs to be unplugged. And then we'll roll to the front here. And then there's supposed to be one right there, but it's missing. One right here, that's the back of the cab right there. Same thing on this side, one right there, one right there. Um, get this ground wire removed and then the fuel neck unbolted up there. And that should be everything. And then we can pick the bed up. Now, normally, I got two 4 by 4s I go rail to rail and it's got two eye hooks in them and I just use that to lift the bed up. But I don't feel like doing that uh, today. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave that corner and that corner bolt in just a couple threads and then i'm just gonna pick up the bed put a four by four up under it to hold it so it's tilted up <clears throat> just to give us enough room to get the fuel pump out oh so that's how we're going to try and do it today uh, and we'll see how that turns out so anyways yeah i'm gonna get these uh bolts undone the wiring and the fuel neck and whatnot and then uh we'll get back to you all right, guys, I am whooped at this point. I got five of the bolts out. There's eight bolts total. One was missing. I got five of them out. The other two had to cut out. The uh, bolt just kept spinning. I guess the uh, the nut they have on the um, on the bed rail just they they just they were just spinning. This, this front two, this front one, and that front one over there, they just kept spinning. All the other ones came out no problem. I'll tell you, I'm more slap out after that. This one only took. Um, I had a blade and I tried to use it and it was kind of worn out so I went and bought some blades This bolt only took one blade to cut in half But uh This bolt took one two three four blades four blades to cut And I didn't even cut all the way through them I just cut them enough to where I could jack the bed up to get pressure on the bolt and use the impact to snap the bolt in half um, well, The first bolt he shot all the way back here so uh, it broke it broke and shot all the way back here and then this bolt over here i don't know where it went like i, I just i just snapped it off and then grabbed the camera to there's a washer to it so i mean the bolt's probably probably in that socket or something i don't know it's somewhere but uh man i'm gonna get this uh in the bed pushed up four by four up under it and uh then i'll uh tell you what we're gonna do about the uh fuel pump all right guys so i got the bed picked up we got a four by four between the leaf spring and the bed here and then so we got we should have plenty of room to get that fuel pump out there so uh i got someone sitting out here making sure i don't die um I wonder what plug is for that. Hmm, weird. Alright, anywho. Yeah, so. We'll get all this stuff unhooked. Get this ring off. Get all that. Well, first, you want to blow all this. Blow all this dirt away from it. Get all this cleaned up. Then start unplugging stuff and getting 
this uh, ring knocked out around it and then we'll get the fuel pump pulled out. All right guys, I got the fuel pump out. And it definitely is our problem. Let's see if it'll pick it up on camera. No, it's not going to, but the contacts are completely gone on it. Uh, come on, focus. I don't know if y'all can see that. The contacts are completely gone. It's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to look like that. Those contacts. Those are nice and new and cold. And these, these ones are like half gone. I don't know why it won't focus there. You can probably kind of see it there. Anywho. So that definitely was our problem uh, with our fuel gauge being erratic. So... see if I can video this and get the new one put in at the same time. Hold on a second. Did the gasket come out? Okay, hold on. I gotta get the gasket on it. Alright guys, I got the gasket on. We're gonna see if I can get this something in one-handed. Alright, you wanna start with the float, get your little filter thing in there, and it's barely enough room. Kinda just gotta wiggle it twist it. I don't know if, if y'all can see it, but it's a freaking full tank in here, because every time I decide to uh, drop a tank, I always put a full tank and make sure the fuel is full every time. Alright, so... Alright guys, new fuel pump's in. I had a problem with my uh, new gasket. It was too thick. The uh, ring didn't want to uh, lock on. Um, so I had to put the old gasket on it, and it went right back on. So that gasket was just too thick. But it's in. Um, there was nothing wrong with the old gasket. Besides, it was dirty. Cleaned it up. Should be fine. Seen the seal just okay. So, yeah, uh, fuel pumps replaced. Um, my gas gauge should work. Like I said, I'm gonna get this uh, bed put back down um, and whatnot. Get all this cleaned up, and then we'll see if uh, we'll check the fuel gauge and see if it works. So, before you drop the bed, it'd probably be a good thing to go ahead and make sure that everything works. Um, I already dropped the bed, but it's not broken out. I literally just dropped it, so I can pick it back up if I need to. Okay. So, it takes a while to, uh, to start because when you, uh, take the fuel pump out, you, uh, depressurize the fuel rail, so it has to build that pressure back up. Fuel gauge is reading right, that's cool. No low fuel gate or light, and it's not reading on E, so that's that's a good thing. Um, I'll drive it around for a couple days, see if it see if it does it. If not, I think that's our fix. I know that I pretty much know that's our fix. Cause like I said, the sensor on the fuel pump was pretty much gone. So cool. Get, uh, get all this uh, bolted back down, uh, wires connected, fuel neck bolted back to the bed. Um, I'm gonna go take a shower because like, I'm freaking nasty. Um, and I know I, I keep saying like, oh, a new video today. Um, I've been doing these videos back to back to back. So for the last two days, we done, me and her have been busting ass, getting everything replaced. Uh, so y'all seeing these videos thinking it's day by day but really it's just I, I did the all those videos back to back so um we literally fixed this whole truck in two days pretty much so yeah we'll see you on the next one